Live from Stanford University, it's theCUBE, covering Global Women in Data Science Conference. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of the fourth annual Women in Data Science Conference. This Global WIDS event is the fourth annual, our fourth year here, covering it for theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin, joined by Gianluca Icarino, the director of the Stanford Institute for Computational and Mathematical Engineering. Gianluca, it's a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you, it's a pleasure so to be here. So the Institute for Computational and Mathematical Engineering, ICME, tell us a little bit about that and its involvement in WIDS. Yes, so the Institute has, has been, um, uh, was funded 15 years ago at Stanford as a real hub for uh, computational mathematics at Stanford. Um, the intention was to connect uh, computations and in general the uh, disciplines around campus uh, towards using computing for evolution, for starting new ideas, for pursuing new endeavors. And I think it's been extremely successful over the years in creating um, a number of different opportunities. Now, WIDS um, started uh, four years ago, as you mentioned, as part of a, um, a, an idea that the prior uh, director of ICME, Margot Gerritsen, had with a uh, few others. And uh, I think the, the position of ICME at the center of campus really helped bring these events sort of across different fields and dis different disciplines. And I think it has been um, extremely successful in um, s expanding and creating a new, uh, completely new movement, a completely new way of of uh, engaging with, uh, with a large, very large community. And I, I think ICME has been uh, very happy to, to play this role and, and I'm continuing to be excited about the opportunities. You mentioned expansion and movement, two things that jump out. Expansion, yes. we mentioned fourth annual, only yes. started, this is three and a half years ago, November right. 2015. And we were, had the pleasure of having Margot Gerritsen, one of the co-founders of WIDS, on theCUBE last year at WIDS. And I loved how she actually said, very cheeky, WIDS really started sort of as a revenge conference for her and the co-founders looking at all of the technology events and industry events and seeing a, a lack of diversity. But in terms of expansion, this there are 150 plus regional WIDS events this year Sorry. in 50 plus countries. They're expecting over 100,000 people to engage. So this expansion and this movement that you mentioned, it's palpable. Tell us about your, what is the impetus for you to be involved in the WIDS movement? Well, I think my interest in, uh, in, in data science and in WIDS in, in particular is because of the role that ICME has in, in the education at Stanford. We obviously have uh, a, a, a very important opportunity to renew and remodel our curriculum and provide new opportunities for for education of, of the new generations, and, and clearly starting with uh, with the opportunity of uh, of having such an audience and and reaching so many different disciplines and so many different fields helps us understand exactly how to put that curriculum together. And so my focus and my uh, interest has been mostly on on uh, making sure that ICME aligns with these new directions. And uh, when we established the institute, the computational mathematics didn't really not have data as a very, very critical component, but we are adjusting to that. Clearly it's becoming more and more important and we want to make sure we are ready for it and we make sure that the students through our curriculum are ready for the world out there. So let's talk about the students and the curriculum. You've been a professor at Stanford for a very long time. Before we get into the specifics of today's curriculum, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about how you have seen that evolve over time as we know that you know we're sort of, in, you know, in terms of where the involvement in women in technology and STEM fields was in the 80s and how that's dropped off. Tell me a little bit about the evolution in that curriculum that you've seen and where the ICME is today with that adaptation. Yes, um, certainly the, the evolution has been very quick in the last few years. We have seen the um, a, a number of opportunity emerging because of the technology that is, is out there. The fact that uh, certainly for data science, both the, the software uh, and the hardware and the technology, the methodology, the, the algorithms are, are all in the open. So that there is no real barrier into sort of getting started. And I think that helps 
everybody sort of getting excited about the idea and the opportunity very, very quickly. So uh, we don't really need to go through an extensive curriculum to be able to already solve problems and have an impact. And I think that perhaps is one, uh, one other reason why we are sort of in a level pl playing field, right? Everything is, is available to everybody with relatively minor investment at the, at the beginning. And so I think that's certainly a difference with respect to other disciplines where instead it was a much more laborious you know, process to go through before you can actually start having an impact, start having a, a real uh, opportunity to, to, to change the world and to, to, uh, to have um, um, you know, sort of your, your vision sort of impact in the world. So I think that's, that's definitely something that, that data science and uh, the, the recent development in data science have, have created. And so I think in, in terms of our role, sort of continuing role in, in this is to uh, perhaps exp you know, ex expand the view of data science. It's not just the, the algorithm, the technology, the, the statistical learning that you need to, to, um, to accomplish as a, as a student, as a, as a newcomer into the field, but also is, is other, um, other elements. And I would say certainly um, the, the challenges that we are uh, that are posed to data science today are challenges that have to do with the ethics, with privacy, um, and, and so these are clear, clearly uh, um, difficult to handle because they require knowledge across disciplines that typically are not related to STEM in a, in a traditional sense. Um, but then on the other end, I think, is the opportunity to be really creative. Data is not um, uh, analyzing uh, on its own, right? It needs the input, our sort of help in, in creating a story. And I think that's, that's another element that I think makes uh, data science a little bit different than other STEM disciplines that tend to be much more um, aseptic, much more sort of uh, cold, if you like. I think the that's one of the things too that I find really interesting is if you look at all the statistical and computational skills, as you mentioned, that a, a good data scientist needs to have is we look at some of the challenges with the amount of data being created. So you mentioned privacy, ethics, cybersecurity issues. The create, creative element is key for the analysis. Mm -hmm. Other things too that interest me, and I'd love to get your thoughts on how you see this being developed uh, and the curriculum helping is, is empathy, mm -hmm. uh, collaboration, communication skills. Where is that in the curriculum? Like how important is, are those other skills to the hard skills? That, that's, that's a great question, and I think where is in the curriculum, I, I think we are lagging behind, and this is one of the opportunities that we have to actually connect to other places on campus where instead the, the, the education is built much more closely around some of these uh, topics that you mentioned. Um, so I, I, I think, you know, again, I, the, the, the real advantage and the real opportunity we have is that the, the, uh, the data science in general, reaches out to all these different disciplines in a very, very um, uh, new way, if you like. I think it's, it's probably one of the reasons why it's so attractive to, to the younger generation, is the fact that it's not just the art skills. You do need to have a lot of understanding of the technology, the foundational statistics and mathematics and so on, but it's much more than that. The communication is very important. Teamwork is extremely important. Transparency is very important. There are, there are really all these elements that do not really make, uh, um, uh, they, they really didn't have a place in some of the more traditional disciplines. And I think that's, that's definitely a, a great way of sort of refreshing our way of uh, even considering education and curriculum. When you talk to some like the next or the younger generations, is that one of the things that they find, are, are they pleasantly surprised knowing that I, I need to actually be pretty well-rounded to be a successful data scientist. That's how I analyze the data, how I tell a story. Is that something that you still find that excites but surprises this younger generation of well, data it's, scientists? Well, it, it certainly is, is, is a component, a very important component of the excitement that I see out there. Uh, the fact that you can really build a story, tell a story, communicate a story, and have an impact immediately, quickly, I think is, a, is, a, is something that uh, the, the newer generation really see as a, as a you know, great opportunity. Um, and, and, you know, and it, rightly so. I mean, it, it has been very difficult for more traditional disciplines to have the same level of impact, partly because the communities tend to be very close, very limited with, with a lot of scrutiny. I think what we have in, in data science instead is, is really a lot of, um, um, you know, can-do attitude, a lot of uh, really, you know, creative force that is behind 
um, you know, basically this movement, but in general, data science. I think that. But you're right. The impact <laughs> is so potent, and we've seen it, and we're seeing it in every industry across the globe, and it's such an exciting time. Well, John Luca, we thank you so much for sharing some of your time thank on the you. program this morning, and look forward to hearing more great things that the ICME is helping with respect to women in STEM over the next year. Absolutely, thank you very much. Thank My you. pleasure. We want to thank you. You're watching theCUBE live from the fourth annual Women in Data Science Conference here at Stanford University. I'm Lisa Martin. Stick around. My next guest will join me in just a moment.